Hello, I'd like to talk to you about the elasticity and regressions. Now we have two problems here that I want to work through. First of all, let's assume that you have a company and you've hired an econometrician to estimate your demand function. And let's assume Q is quantity, um, there's your intercept, M is your income, average income in the country, P of X is how much you're charging for your product, PY is the price of a substitute. And so that gave you income, let's say, is 30000 You've charged $100, and your substitute competitor is charging $120. They're not perfect substitutes, but they're similar. And now let's calculate, or let's show you how to calculate the problem. We know that the general case is uh, the elasticity is the uh, parameter times uh, uh, price over quantity. So in this case, our parameter is going to be 2. And then we need price over quantity. And that's going to be our elasticity of demand. And we can do a similar thing if we're looking at income elasticity. Take this times income over quantity. So 0.02 times income over quantity. And likewise, cross price elasticity would be the 1.5 times the price of this um, um, substitute good, which would be the 120 divided by the quantity. Problem on this problem is we don't know what quantity is. So but we have the equation, and we know that quantity of x, good x, for your product x, it's supposed to be, does that look like an x? Hopefully, is 200 plus point, point, o two m minus two times p of x plus one point five p of y. And so we have two hundred plus point o 2m is 30,000. Minus 2, you're charging $100. Plus 1.5, supposed to be 5, hopefully it looks like 5, times 120. I calculate that that is um, 780. Okay, so we know our price is 100. So we have 2 times 100. We know quantity is 780. And if I calculated it correctly, I think that is point, point, two, five, six. So it's inelastic. So we have an elasticity less than one, it's point two five six. Now in this case down here, well, these are natural logs, so you're looking at natural log of x. So up here what we're doing is here's quantity, here's price, here's your straight line. Does that look like a straight line demand curve? And you raise your price, and your quantity started here, your price started over here, and it's specifically your price started at, what was your price? Um, your price is $100. And with all those, every, everything else constant, this is $780 down here. And if you raised your price, that doesn't look like $100, does it? I'm going to erase that and make it look a little better. So $100. And raise your price by a dollar or so. Your elasticity is going to be unresponsive or uh, inelastic 
but it's not going to be zero either. So we raise our price by, um, in this case, let's raise our price by, let's say, 10%. And then looks like that let's write it up here. In this case, if we raised our price by 10%, oops, 10, uh, can't even write 10%, we just take the 0 0.1 times our elasticity, our elasticity is 0.256 and so a 10% higher price um, I calculated that is 0 0.0256 which is what? About a little over 2.5% decrease in quantity and looks like um, that should finish that problem got the big buzzer there telling us at least I heard a buzzer telling us time to stop that problem now the next one well natural logs is really nice we just find here's our negative 2 right here so our elasticity is negative 2 so here's our elasticity we don't have to calculate quantity and take the price over quantity times the slope. And also, I should have put negative 2 up here. Negative and negative. A lot of times, we'll just take the absolute value here, as I did here. You raised your price. But it's definitely 2 point, a little over, or 2.56% lower quantity um, as we move from this point A up here to this point B up here. But down here, what I have is I have a different curve. It's kind of like that. So I raised my price from, what was it, 100? And uh, I didn't I'm just going to put a Q rather than calculating Q. And here's my demand. Here's quantity. Here's price. And so in this case, my elasticity along here is just negative 2. Hope that helped in terms of how to look at these equations and figuring out your elasticities. Thank you.